I could build a quiz, and if I build a quiz, then I can actually save it and rerun it next year. Or I could take that quiz and I can make it into a space race so that they're answering that quiz in a game type format. But what I think is actually the best value of Socrative is just being able to launch a quick question. So if I'm running through a lesson, I'm like, all right, true or false? Exit tickets are a good way to um, assess student understanding. If you're logged into that room, your screen is going to ask you true or false. And so, right now, I'm getting 5 out of 15 students in here that said yes. True, true. Student or exit tickets are a good way to assess student data. If someone's in there, do you just want to hit false real quick, even though they're wrong? <laughs> so you can start to see, if you want, you can display this and have a conversation with your students. Agree or disagree, right? Um, now, I'm going to end that question, and I'm just going to go to a short answer. So I'm doing a lesson, and I want you to, to just say, okay, give me um, what you're feeling right now. And I launch that, and hit start. And I said it as an anonymous <coughs> question, so they don't even have to type in their name. Let's see if we get some answers. Hungry, totally. Right? So it's a party coming, folks. And so the on the fly piece is really huge. So he's able to then ask questions and then go ahead and like be moving around the room and handling a discussion or debate or whatever it is. He can be doing this during the lesson, throughout the lesson, before the lesson, after the lesson, what have you. Um, and then he knows what's going on all the time. But you notice that now he doesn't have, it's just a quick question. There's no recording of what question he actually asked you. So it's for use right now. You can use this information right now as we're moving through the lesson. In fact, someone said we're excited about wanting more time to play around. Raise your hand if you're feeling like that one person to put that. Right? More time to play around. So maybe as session leaders right now, we can say, okay, maybe we're going to take a five minute break and say, it's playtime. Get in, put your feet wet. We're going to take a five minute break from talking at you and let you kind of just play around. We'll turn off our mics, and if you have questions, you can raise your hand and we'll come around. I'm not turning off my mic. <laughs> I like it too much. You can, you can beatbox the whole time. No. Yeah. All right, so five minutes. I did turn it off. Break, break. If you need to play, play. Hey, let's show them the hoop. I mean, uh, you guys seen, uh, what's that? My hands are Go noodle. Yeah, that's a good thing for a break. You want to see something funny? Go into any place where there's lots of kids and go, My hands are high, my feet are low, and then just wait and see what happens next. You, you'd have to sign in, Chris, because I've never used it. Well, this is a great time for you to get an account, man. My high schoolers would not. Oh, dude, they will eat this. Dude, all right. All right, here we go. I am a teacher. I want to be there the first time you do this. Field trip is fun. My kids are all about Popsico and I forget what else. We always do that. Popsico is the best. So how many of you have never ever heard of this thing we're about to show you? Okay. So what this is, is it's just a way to do a brain break. Like our kids don't get enough movement. They don't get up enough, they don't move enough, you get the idea. So what this is, is this going to be this great, wonderful video, I guess, on the screen? Um, and it's, a, it's an opportunity for students to get up and move a little bit. Get that across the, the meridian or whatever and get their brains working up. And, so you know, go noodle. That one, yeah. Meridian's a midline though, right? And what's it called? It's geography. Okay. <laughs> what, where do I go? Oh, you just pick a, one of these that you want us to be now. So okay, pick, oh. Pick like a... Freckles. Yes. All right. Hang and tight. points every time we play. This is called Go Noodle? Go yeah. Noodle. Do we have to sign in, or we just want to? You can create an account. This a participant, no. You would stand up, and you would leave your device at the table. Get Popsico. you got to get Popsico. Where do I go? Popsico. No, can you search for it or something? There used to be. Click on click. Yeah, click on this. Actually, the really cool thing is like, so there's the characters that we dance along with, but then they also get some like famous people uh -huh. to do the movements also. So um, like I think there's a famous soccer player. I don't know the soccer players, but so the kids are like inspired by their icons. Is there no search? Um, these are categories. So yeah, there used to be a search. <laughs> Go back to dashboard.
before you learn, you actually don't learn as much. Um, and one of the things I was thinking was we immediately so that way you know what the kids line up before school. They have to stand in line, don't move. All right. Mm-hmm. So one of my things that I would love to try to do this year is we all have a, there's teachers on duty all around. So teacher could lead or a student could lead exercises. Okay, Instead of yeah, having the kids stand, I mean, they could go put their backpack. So in you could you could create some of the cycles before they walk in the, mm-hmm. the day. And you're right; it could be right. stupid. Right. Well, so there's good noodle. Well, somebody made the comment. Like, what if you have a teacher? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, he can like really do or can't. Oh, so does he get like beef? Bulk um, out? You could just start with maybe these. But you want you're not inside necessarily because they lined up. Yeah, but if they're crazy. standing there anyway, I agree. Cool, actually. I agree. Why, why not do something with them? I'm usually pulling together a lot. And it's being sponsored also by like I children's I hospitals. Yes, even. Colorado. Yeah, is but if Colorado? the kids need it, all you have That's to do cool. is say, who wants to be the leader today? Yeah, good idea. Alright, take it away, say, Chris. Alright, okay, so here's a couple other ones. Um, oh my gosh. Hmm? Gym teacher. We're not going to dig into this Excellent. one too much, Could you but if you're on the slideshow, do you remember the up, slideshow we started with? Mm-hmm. Um, there's an exit Here's ticket. This is a link. The picture here is a link to a Chrome <laughs> extension that manages the whole entire exit ticket system, where it's keeping track of student data, doing meta analysis, and we're not going to mess with that one, but just know that it's there. If you go to the Chrome web store and search for exit tickets, it'll pop up, or if you click that picture on our slide, it'll pop up. Paradeck is the one that we talked about just a little bit. We're going to come back to that one in a minute, but let's do Linowit. How many of you know the website Linowit, or maybe it's um, some French word, Linou, I don't know, right? <laughs> so here's the thing. With the Linowit, and I'm probably saying it wrong, you essentially, you create an account, okay? And then you have the ability to create these boards. Now, 
A lot of people know uh, Padlet. Are you familiar with Padlet? Mm -hmm. And before it was Padlet, it was called Wallwisher. So it's this it's the exact same idea. All right. I prefer whoop, Linowit a little because I feel like you can do a little bit more with it. But it's totally the same idea. Okay. So the way that we've used this, the example that I like to point out, I was working with a second grade teacher. And she was doing, um, it was a science lesson. And what she did was she had, um, we used the Discovery Tech Book or Discovery Streaming to provide a lot of our science content. So what she did was she had her second graders watch a video, it was like three minutes, okay? And she had made, if you're familiar with the Discovery Tech Book, what she had made was called a board. And it basically, it's just like a little website that has some content on it, okay? So she made this board and they had a video on it. And then it said, when you finish the video, please <laughs> click this link, and so she made a link, and use a pink sticky note to identify one vocabulary word you learned about. All right? So the second graders, this is their first time ever doing it, and it was flawless. They watched the video on the board. She put it on her classroom website or whatever. And then they clicked the link to go to this Linowit board that the teacher had created. They grabbed the pink sticky note, and they were able to write a vocabulary word that they learned about, you know, during the movie. So they wrote the word, and they wrote their definition in their own words. And then you can mess with it a lot. You can give it tags. You can change the colors. You can change the font, the font size, and some other fun stuff. Um, and you can, you, know, you can do that, too. <laughs> so then that sticky note goes on the board. And every kid can also class their sticky notes on the board. So if you come from our slideshow, and you click that picture of the Leno 8, board. It'll take you right to this board. Go ahead and try that. If you're, can we get the slideshow link up for it? You guys have the tab for it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So join us here. <coughs> and then go ahead and just play with it for a second. Try the different colors, sticky notes. See what else you can get on there. <coughs> you can get images on there. You can get videos on there. Now, again, remember, think back to the beginning. How we were talking about anything you create in Google Drive, whether it's a slide, a drawing, a document, whatever it is that they create has a link. And so that link can be put onto a little way before. So you could ask the question, you know, like let's go back to that saying, the water cycle question. Make a drawing about the water cycle. Take that link and post it on our board. Now, our class is creating this shared resource of information or links or videos or, or whatever it is. So you can very quickly share out the link to the board using that craft text extension like we've been doing. The kids can you know, type it on their device, they show up on that board, they drop their little stickies and post-its, they share their understanding about today's lesson or their questions or whatever it is. Now in the lower right -hand <coughs> corner of the board, it's like put away right now, it's tucked away, but there's a little map. And so this, this board is actually really, really large. When you look at it, when you land on it, you're only looking at about, I don't know, a fifth of the page or something, right? So you can <coughs> move your little guy around, and you can also just drag your board around too. But then you can uh, navigate around the board and you can add your things. There are so many ways to use this with the color coding and the images and the videos and the fact that links work. So anything they create in Drive, they can post a link on this board <coughs> and now anybody can click on it and go to it. You can set the board up how you like. You can set it up to be private. You can set it up to be view only. You can set it up so that you have to have the link. You can set it up so that nobody can add sticky notes except for you. We have it as wide open as it possibly can be. So everybody can add sticky notes. Everybody can do everything, right? Nobody's going to rip roll us this time. <coughs> it happened the other day. So you see how it works, right? This is a great exit ticket solution. Every board can have its own name, and you can create a new board for every lesson if you wanted to. Um, so then, it's easy to go back and find the information. Yes. So if you want to look out, like, let me, um, can you just back up to where it's like the, whatever that first screen is where you sign in and make sure. <coughs> can you just click, oh, okay. That works too. Sorry, guys. 